Hello there again. We went from the dark side to kind of the light side. <laughs> Miss Misery with us. How are you? I'm good. How are you, darling? Doing fantastic. Awesome. Uh, well, first of all, I'm, I'm assuming no, but let me ask you, is this your first Creatures Con? Oh, no. <laughs> well, Honey, no. It is my first one. So oh, congratulations. Uh, I'm just getting the feel for it here. Welcome. Thank you. You're, n you're never leaving now. <laughs> uh -oh. Thank you, question mark. So, first of all, anybody who's watching and saying, Miss Misery, sounds kind of familiar. Where do they probably know you from? I am your hot horror hostess, Miss Misery, of Miss Misery's movie, Massacre. That's right. We are on Friday nights in Vallejo, Saturday nights in Hayward out of Chabot College. I don't know if you're familiar with that. We're also on ATTU versus throughout California and Roku. I do have a syndicated show, which is super popular amongst those who watch those late night horror films. Like if you love Night of the Living Dead, House on Haunted Hill, I'm your girl. Yeah, and I mean it, it should be kind of obvious how, but how do you how do you how do you decide which films you're gonna feature? Oh, whatever doesn't bore me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I you know it's it's interesting how I pick my movies because I I like to think of what people would want to watch like what I would want to watch and I'll host it so that's kind of how I pick my films you know does I mean, like what would they want to watch uh, on a Friday or Saturday does that yeah it's kind of like little? well if you, there's a lot of Vincent Price fans yeah so I would pick mostly Vincent Price movies because I love I think Vincent we heard Price. Of you know thi yeah exactly <laughs> so things like that you know, thank you <laughs> <laughs> so Vincent that wasn't Price, Vincent Price by the way. <laughs> no no <laughs> My God, that would have been cool. Yeah. Um, like Ed Wood, there's a huge Ed Wood following, so I, I host Ed Wood films, you know, things like that. Like you know, cheesy monster movies. Who doesn't love cheesy monster movies? Come on. Well, I was going to say, that, is it the cheesier the better? I think so. I definitely think so. Cheesier the better? Oh, God, yes. <laughs> From, I, I know you, you, you kind of can't or shouldn't play favorites, but do, do, do you have, personally, do you have a favorite? Like a favorite movie I've hosted? Yeah. Ooh. Or even not one that you haven't had on the show, but just a favorite horror movie that maybe not a lot of people talk about or maybe know, know about. Well, there's Spider Baby, which has a younger Sid Haig in it. Mm -hmm. And I have not hosted that one yet. I'm going to be hosting it next for season five. And that's one that I, I really adore. I love that movie. And I cannot wait to host that one. I know a lot of fans out there have been asking me if I'm going to host it, too. So it's coming, which is great. It's coming. Yeah. Now, I mean, let's go into, I mean, on the Geeks picture, we talk a lot about comic books and cool. things like that. So origins are important. Let's start with yours. I mean, what, what made you want to be a, a TV horror host? Well, uh, when I was younger, I grew up on Elvira. And I never thought I'd grow up to be Elvira or like an Elvira. Uh, it wasn't until I went to WonderCon in San Francisco and I met Bob Wilkins and John Stanley and my father got extremely excited and was like, oh, my God, that's creature features. Like, yeah. he done like, what, who, what? You know, and that's my was my first real intake on horror hosting. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. But then that was it. And then years went by. And all of a sudden I was like, hey, you know, I started getting more into uh, filmmaking and acting in indie films. And, and then I was like, wow, you know, how do I get my foot into the horror genre? I started going around to conventions and interviewing like 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 you do like yeah. ce celebrities and anything I could get my hands on, and from there I was like, oh man, this is great. You know, I need more of a persona, so I created Miss Misery. I created my own version of what like my own Elvira in a way, I guess you would say, and and from there it just kind of snowballed and went this whole huge direction I never thought it would take. <laughs> and, and, and then from there I did The Last Doorway out of San Francisco. I did that, it's a 30 minute show. And I went to all the cons and that was 80 episodes. And then I had um, a chance from a producer to do Movie Massacre to host films. And I was like, ah, fine, why not? Yeah. <laughs> Go for it. And that's, that's how I started. <laughs> Yeah, which honestly is how a lot of careers start. I mean, I mean, again, I've been I come from the radio side and now on oh, camera great. also, but that is also pretty much how I started too. Because I, I awesome. didn't I didn't want to do this. I wanted to be a child psychologist or a high school counselor, and then oh wow, thirty something years later, I've got microphones in my hand, <laughs> cameras pointing at me. So that's but pretty cool. I do have to ask, 
what, is, what did your dad think when you first told him, hey, look, now I'm doing it? He wasn't very happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was, he's a parent, so he was happy and not happy. You know, so it's like every As time. As a parent, I know exactly what you mean. You know, yeah. <laughs> so it's it's like he he's proud of me and everything I do. And at the same time, he's like, should have been a doctor. <laughs> should have had you go to college and be a doctor. No, dad, I'm not going to be a doctor. Oh. But, you know, he's a parent. But he's very proud of me. So he thinks it's fun. Yeah. As long as I'm happy, basically. As long as I'm happy. So. Yeah, that's all that matters <laughs> yeah. in the end. So, uh, I mean, you've got. Well, in the end, as long as I buy him a house, I think he'll be fine. (laughs) Yeah, then he'll really be happy. (laughs) Well, pay it off and everything, then he'll really be happy. (laughs) Uh, But I was going to say, we've got the movies here, so talk about these movies and where they, more importantly, can get them. Uh, Yes, uh, you could go to laststoryproductions.com to find out uh, which merch I have available. Or you can go to Amazon. I have some of my uh, movie masters on Amazon. So it's just a variety of different... Um, films like White Zombie, Night of the Living Dead, House on Hill, uh, different films that um, I host with my co-host, Mr. Torture. Mm-hmm. And in between, we have segments. So we have guests, independent filmmakers, uh, radio personality, you know, things like that. And then we show, we give you like a history lesson on uh, different medieval weapons, <laughs> the Mr. Torture segment. So we have a lot of fun. Uh, it, it's I think he's like, giving a lesson. Now he was here. I don't know where he went. Uh, yeah, he's probably, probably giving somebody a lesson. A <laughs> Ooh, uh-oh. Yeah. So, so well, if your screams, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> what? what? I think I heard something. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, you can go on Amazon or Last Story Productions to find out. And I did just recently come out with the CreatureCon special DVD, which is me hosting my own film, Monster of Golden Gate. So what happened was, um, you know, a lot of the horror hosts host the exact same movies. Yeah. So we made our own cheesy black and white respect. monster movie. Okay. And we sat down and hosted our own film. And we also sent it out for other hosts to host as well. But that's that's one of the newest additions right now. Okay, I was trying to, where is it? I it's in the corner. Oh. Yeah. I was trying to get it so they could see it. There you go. Zoom in on that. Now, when we released Monster of Golden Gate, we released it at the Big Wow convention in mm-hmm. San Jose. And... I only made 100 copies, and the 100 copies sold in <laughs> one day. I couldn't believe it. And it's very popular amongst kids. Who knew? <laughs> yeah. Which is a good thing, actually, that <laughs> yeah, it's it a sold very out. good thing. So we are going to be starting on the sequel soon. So looking forward to that. Uh, well, no pressure or anything, but how soon do you hope to? Because I'm sure they're, they're asking, how, how, when can we get it? Well, right now I am halfway done with the script. So I'll give you that much detail. <laughs> there you go, an exclusive. <laughs> so again, give them uh, again for the new people that are just discovering you. Where where can they watch you? Well, you can go uh, find me on YouTube. I have YouTube videos up uh, and Halloween specials. You can find there. You could go through laststoryproductions.com to find out our days and times of when we're on. Uh, we're also on ATTU Verse. If you go scroll down to channel ninety, if you go to channel ninety nine, scroll down and find Chabot College. Chabot TV, we're on there Saturday nights, Friday nights in uh, Vallejo, uh, the uh, Vallejo public access station there. And we ju- I just, actually, I, j- I will announce it here. I just signed a contract three days ago for 13 Roku channels. Mm. Four of them are international and starts on Monday. Well, that's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> so. As we're recording it, yeah, it's Monday. So yeah. congrats on that. <laughs> Thank you. So uh, we're just expanding wherever we can see dad another <laughs> another reason to be proud of her exactly Just <laughs> getting bigger and bigger <laughs> so again th- thanks a lot uh, those of you who are wondering by the way Shabot is not S-H it's C-H-A-B-O-T if you're looking for it and it's like that's not com- I don't know where the S-H is going to take you that has nothing <laughs> to do with us but it's C-H-A-O-B-T where you can find it again thanks a lot congratulations thank you and hope thanks to see so a lot much. more of you yes you too <laughs>